The grief and shock remained overwhelming as the casualty count from Wednesday's catastrophic collapse continued to mount. For rescue workers, a desperate search goes on amid the wreckage of what was once an eight-storey building. One of the garment workers, still helplessly pinned by the crumpled concrete, begs to be rescued. Save us, brother, I beg you. I want to live. It's so painful here. I have two little children. The fear is there may still be hundreds trapped or buried in the wreckage. Rescuers could hear other voices calling out, pleading to be saved. On the streets outside, anger too, a crowd protesting that the rescue operation is too slow. And the questions mount over why the building wasn't fully evacuated after cracks had reportedly appeared just before the disaster. The rescue had continued through the night. This is already the country's worst industrial accident. And these images, just five months after another garment factory was consumed by fire, have raised new doubts about safety standards in Bangladesh's vast garments industry and the real cost of the West's demand for cut-price clothes. Nick Childs, BBC News.